Hi guys. So in last few section we have discussed about the basic of web to pi. Today we will develop our first web application. So before you start, just start your web to pi server. Click run it and provide the password. Start the server. Once server will start, it will it will navigate to the welcome page. So click admin and provide the password here again now it will list all the application which we are developing so last time we created block application now we want to define our controller view and model so just go manage edit okay this is our block application page now first we'll define our controller so here under controller just define your controller create give some name I'm giving basics and create controller contain all the Python course so you want to edit it just click edit all this one index function is defined we define our own function called def hello world and we define one variable called msg and just write something there hello this is my first web page and return locals so this local function will return all the local variable defined in this function so our controller is already defined just save it now click edit which will again take us to our application page now we'll define our view so we have to define under view section so as already we discussed our view name should be controller name public function name so create so our controller name is basics you have to follow all this convention and our function name is hello world it's html extension will provide automatically will provide it by web to py and just click create so our this basic hello world view is created now click edit we'll edit it there will be code will be there extend layout.html file is html file is already defined with predefined layout so just extend it and here you can change your thing web to py and under this and we right now we'll access our local variable which we have defined in our controller so so anything on inside this double curly bracket is the python code so we have access this and maybe we can wrap this thing in html code so this is our view is defined so we are just printing one message which we define in controller so we just save it now access this web page to access this web page first thing is we have to local server then our application name then controller name and then our view name So our this is our first web application is developed. Okay, I advise you you should open two tabs, one for our to access the application and one for editing. Okay, so here we define our controller called basic and we define our 
view basic hello world thank you